For the 1 in 150 children born today with autism, the happiness associated with building friendships is often out of reach. I would overhear my daughters talking to each other and one would say, do you have any friends yet? And the other one would respond, no. Do you have any friends yet? And it's really heartbreaking as a parent to see that your children want to have friends, but they really don't have the skills or the ability to know how to make them. I would see my daughter run over to the monkey bars, play in the monkey bars by herself, run over to a group of kids and kind of stand on the outskirts, run to another group, again, kind of hang on the outskirts. It's extremely painful to me as a parent. Early on, uh, we sort of noticed that Jack was having a difficult time making friends and keeping friends in a school environment. So every day the kids would need to color what they were and bring it home. And Jack every day was bringing home red lights. After a while, he got a, you know, he got the label of being red light Jack, and it was it was crushing to all of us. Jack didn't understand how to socially interact or join into a group. Many times when I would go and watch him and he would be circling the perimeter of the playground. As a parent, that was very, very difficult. Then maybe we could really help these kids join in and understand how socialization works. Our hope was that would really transcend into them having a better feeling of, of uh, a better self-esteem, just an overall feeling of, of belonging into a community. There are two major components of the program. The first is that we bring structured games that are geared around the interests of the children with autism. The second component is that we also have uh, some staff that are out on the playground then using those games to facilitate interaction. We are building this program within the existing structure of the school. It's not taking a whole bunch of new staff. It's not bringing in a whole bunch of new materials. Uh, the real goal is to be using existing staff who are already on the school campus. And what we've seen is that by targeting uh, a small number of kids, all of the other children have benefited. Our uh, office referrals for playground uh, misbehavior has gone down since the program was initiated. So I think that's something that this program is really, really striving for, is to not only target and help those kids who need the help, but also raise awareness and create a, a sense of empathy, compassion, caring for everybody. We all want our children to succeed academically, but more fundamental than that, we want our children to be happy. And knowing how to make and keep friends is essential to leading a happy life. When I see the video of my children jump roping, I see them smiling and that is priceless to me. These kids take what they've learned and take the feeling, uh, the, the compassion that they've learned and the empathy that they've learned at the elementary level and they take it with them to middle school, to high school, to college and someday these kids are going to be the co-workers, the neighbors of our kids with autism and they're also going to be the employers with the patience and understanding um, to employ adults with autism. The most amazing days of my life truly was seeing clips, a video of three days into the program. And it was just, it was singing to my heart actually to see it. It was, uh, it was Jack playing Jenga with some other kids and everybody having a great time, him laughing and him having a great time. And at bedtime, I would ask them, what are you thankful for? And Jack, um, I asked, of course, I asked Jack along with my daughter, and Jack's first word was, Mom, I'm really thankful for Jenga. I had a great time on the playground today, and I played with friends. And I thought, oh my gosh, for once, I, I can feel like as a mother, I was able to make a difference in his life and make his school experience really a wonderful experience versus just a torture of being red like Jack or being not thought of well or not having friends. And he finally felt like he belonged. I believe that every child with autism or Asperger's really has a gift and it's just finding what that is and, and helping them communicate that and express it. You have a friend, like, you'll have somebody to play with and somebody to hang out with, somebody to talk to, and you don't really feel like talking to anybody else. And friends are basically like family. If they're not family, then, you know, you can, can't really call them a friend.
I'm bound to find you forever. Bound, 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 bound.